Hey Peaches, so I know it's been quite a long time since I've done a Sarah Speaks video, mainly just because I guess I haven't had anything all that interesting happen and um, that I haven't put up a video in time for you guys to know to ask questions. I've tried to set up like 500 different places in my room today just for this video, so I know that everything probably looks really bad and sorry, that's annoying, let me go fix that. So I did post a picture on Instagram to ask if you guys had any questions for this video today, even though it's really last minute, and I think I got one, so I'm going to check Instagram first, and then uh, I'm going to get on YouTube and check, because I think there was a time where I had like a lot of questions, but then um, I didn't get around to answering any of those when I had a lot of them, so I want to make sure that I did answer all of those questions. Okay, so uh, I have two questions on here. I think, yeah. What's one thing you couldn't live without in your everyday life? And I saw this question as soon as she asked it, and I've been thinking about it the whole rest of the day. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think one thing I couldn't live without in my everyday life, but I'm, I think that's like materialistic wise, what I couldn't live without. Um, And I still don't have a good answer. I thought about it the whole day today. Well, I'll do this. I'll say coffee, because that's a good live without in your everyday life. I probably could live without it, but that's a hard question. And so also from her uh, is what's something, what's something you want to try beauty-wise, but it's just too expensive? Uh, almost everything, really. Um, there's a lot of, I think, liquid foundations that I think would be really, really great, and mascaras. So many of the mascaras that I want to try are, like, above $20, which is absolutely ridiculous to me, um, when it's almost as much to fill my car up with gas, so I just can't bring myself to do it. I forgot to address the big elephant in the room, which is my hair. No, the lighting is not that different. I put... Uh, blonde in it, which you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, saw the pictures right after I had gotten it done. I really, really like it, and I love how long it's getting. Also, the people that keep asking me to do um, my hair care routine and the things that I use and stuff like that, I didn't forget. I am going to do it. I'm waiting on one more product to talk about with you guys, and I should be getting it during this week or at the end of the week. So as soon as I get that, I can make it for you and talk all about it. So if you have any more questions about my hair, leave that down below. So now I have my laptop here and I'm going to try to go back to see where those comments were about uh, any questions that I didn't answer. Okay, I give up. I guess there's not anything else. If you guys, um, I also made a backup list because I figured that this would happen. My outfit of the day videos I've been trying to film. To film. What? I've been trying to film every day before I leave for work and I wanted to ask you guys do you like when I just put one video up of one outfit or would you rather me film all my outfits and then just post one video for the whole week because I know a lot of you guys will comment on outfit of the days and say you wish that they were longer but kind of if I say you know my shirts from here my whatever's from here and my shoes are from here or something like that I'm, I get kind of lost about how to make them maybe more in detail for you guys so if you still want them to be one video but longer, I can do that, or just one video for the whole week, uh, we could do that too. So just comment down below and let me know about that. I had to mention this, guys. It's so, like, just how things go for me. Every time that I think I can do something when I'm frustrated, I just, I fail because there's a certain level of frustration, I think, with me where I can get frustrated, but then I can be like, okay, no, this is fine, let's do it. And then there's this other level of me where I'm like, nothing's going to go my way, and I just get so bent out of shape about it. So yesterday I tried to film a room tour for you guys three times, and it's kind of hilarious today, but yesterday I was done with my life. Um, one of the setups that I have is two little side tables and then a, a bigger one in the middle. And I had said in my video... The bottom drawer always comes out, it just randomly flings open and it scares me and it's really weird and I don't know why it happens. And so right after I said that I was talking about something else and the drawer started to open and I was like, that's creepy. Well, I shut it and I went on with my room tour and then I got to the other side of my room. The drawer like 
violently swings open and knocked the whole the table over and that had never happened before usually it just like slowly creeps open and this time I like flung open and knocked everything over and so everything in my drawers came like all over my room all my makeup tossed out and I just was I just stopped filming I was like I can't today this is not gonna happen so hopefully my room tour is going to happen uh soon this video is not good something else that's like a main concern in my life right now which is gonna sound pretty hilarious but I'm completely not kidding about it I don't even know how to say the word correctly is it ambidextrous when you can use both hands for things because is there a way to become that or are you just born with it because wait that's really stupid because you're not born either way um okay <laughs> I don't understand kids though that can do that because didn't I don't know it just isn't and my mind doesn't compute because when you're learning to write you just kind of pick a hand or whatever right well what about the kids that learn to write but then they can use both of them because it's not like they're writing with both of their hands or something or are they I don't know but I want to become that because I think that that would help with hairdressing like a ton to be able to do stuff and also guitar playing and just everything in my life I don't know that's my life goal right now is to become ambidextrous if that's even how you say it have like a there's a hummingbird um this was the worst video I think I've ever filmed in my life so I'm I'm sorry about that so if you guys ever have questions ask me on Instagram which is Sarah the cosmetologist or ask me down here on this video or any of my other videos I'll look back and um, answer questions from them too in these videos so my hair care routine is coming up. Um, I'm just waiting on the last product to come in for me and then I'm going to talk your ear off about hair. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget that you suggest and I do my best. I'll see you guys there. Bye. Hello. Don't mind, please. I'm gonna get sick.